So I asked my AP environmental students to create something, anything, um, that they wanted to in order to recap our land and water use project. They could create something physical, they could do a research project, um, and we had quite diverse results. Hey, so I did a project on the Australian bushfires and basically I made a poster and then the background of the poster is orange to represent how the sky is orange in Australia right now and then at the bottom there are bushes with flames on them and then there were also black clouds shaped like Australia and there were 25 white stick figures and they were cut in half and they were cut in half to show how 25 lives were unfortunately cut short by the fire. I ended up doing my project on aquaculture, which is basically fish farming, and it's a more efficient way of raising and breeding fish for food production, amongst other things. I thought it was very interesting because it's like safe for the environment. So I had meat production, so I just basically wanted everybody to know the history about it, more so what everybody didn't know already. Uh, I had little pictures of like a farmer to let you know about how it all started in the 16th century. I had little animals. I did the, the Monster House Smart City Urban Sprawl thing. When Ms. Moyer proposed the project, I like immediately was like, I want to do a diorama. <laughs> like, I like started sketching ideas and she thought it was funny because when she came by, I like already had a plan like set out. I started doing the research after, <laughs> uh, but it was cool to be able to make my own thing for the project. I think when they had the choice about what to research instead of me telling them, I got to learn a lot more about them and they got to learn about something that they cared about. It's like something I knew I would enjoy doing rather than just getting a topic that I may not like. I just liked being able to like with like no boundaries because it was like you can do anything. It gave me a lot of room to be creative because I like making projects and different experiments. They amaze me every day with the kinds of things that they come up with and the questions that they ask so not super surprised that they came up with such interesting and off the wall ideas but very thrilled with it because um, I definitely couldn't have told somebody hey, why don't you make over my turtle tank and talk about overfishing and build a boat uh, and a net to go with it. That never would be a project that I would give to somebody, but it's one that they came up with and that both my turtles and I love. 